Man, that's some dramatic ass music. <laughs> oh, that's hella cool. I'm gonna have to turn it down a bit though, because it is fucking deafening. Wow, wow. 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 Let's put that to like 25. I think that's, that's gonna be a good number. Hi. Hi and welcome. Hi and welcome to uh, Joe Plays Monster. Monster Sanctuary. Monster Stan. Mon. This intro is going really well. <laughs> um, this is a game that I saw on Steam uh, a long ass time ago, actually, before it was even released. I remember following both this and Temtem uh, about the same time as sort of Pokemon alternatives. Um, this one I hadn't actually got around to playing until quite recently, though. I think it is still in early access, as is Temtem for that matter. Um, so I don't know how complete it is, how functional it is, how good it is at the moment, but. From what I understand, it's like Pokemon, but also a Metroidvania, and that is very appealing to me. If you've looked at any of the videos on my channel, you will know that that is very appealing to me. So, uh, yeah, let's, 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 fucking, let's fucking go. For all these slots we've got. I'm going to go for this one in the middle. Oh, that's really nice uh, sprite animation, that, actually. It's very smooth. More, better than I was expecting, honestly. I was expecting a, a lot more of a sort of uh, classic SNES era sort of style, but this is um, it's got a lot more frames going on. I like it. I'm going to be the lady, I think. I think this is the lady and this is the gentleman. I believe that's the way around it goes. Um, I like her, though. She's cool. Uh, name my character. Uh, her name shall be... D It did your flow. <laughs> that is, that's how you name characters right there. <laughs> the Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Just like in another video game uh, centered around catching monsters and battling them, but uh, we don't talk about that around here because most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. That's a mushroom! Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves Monster Keepers, which is definitely nothing like a Pokemon trainer. Shut up. Stop suggesting otherwise. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. <gasps> I can be a water wind wolf. I can be a fire wind birdie. I can be an earth water toad. Or I can be a fire earth lion. I mean, I, I, I tend to lean wolf. I mean, I'm a dog person. I'm sure you've heard them in the background of my videos before. Um, I, I, do, I do like dogs. Uh, but I also really like Bulbasaur. And this has got strong Bulbasaur vibes. It's like ugly Bulbasaur, and I'm I'm all about it. Also, it has green fire on its back, and uh, it's a pretty rare colour for fire. <laughs> you don't see a lot of green fire, so I think, in the interest of being special, I'm going to pick the spectral to spectral toad as my familiar, which is not quite as cool a name as Bulbasaur, really, is it? Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of these bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Did you flow? <laughs> Already regretting that name. Digiflow is just starting to become... Oh, fuck, I missed that. As with all starting Monster Keepers, her journey begins on the Keeper's Trail. A Bloodlands familiar bears the form of a spectru spectral toad. Name your familiar. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> we've already been referring to it as this, so let's, let's just... Oh, wait, no. Wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Sorted it. it it's, it's Bulbasaur. It's Bulbasaur. We're going to do that thing where we just repeatedly make reference to Pokemon in hopes that one of them is funny. 
Monsters are wild things. The only reason with helping you... Oh, wait, hang on. This this is the Bulbasaur talking. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain monsters' loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look over at the blob over there. Uh-huh. Colon 3 ing at me. Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you live up to your ancestors. Alright. Oh, look at his little hops. Look at his little hops. I like him. Um, from what I can tell, it seems as if we're going to be stealing young from wild creatures and training them to do combat. It's somehow even worse than capturing wild Pokemon to, to steal their children, but um, I, I choose Spectral Toad. <laughs> See, I know Mud Cannon, 4 times 40 magical damage, Earth. Bubble Burst, 4 times 40 magical damage, Water. And Tackle, 3 times 60 magical damage, Neutral. Ignores 25% of the damage. Da 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 targets defense damage. Targets defense damage reduction value. Is a, that's just a string of words, like, I know what all of them mean, but when you put them all together like that, it hurts my brain a bit. I get a bit overloaded, you know. Um, I'm going to... Oh, it looks like Bubble Burst... It looks like it's predicting the damage it will do, if I'm looking at the health bar down there. And it looks like Bubble Burst isn't very effective, so we're going to go with Mud Cannon. Yeah, re resist water. Weak to fire. Shame I have no fire, so we'll hit it with Earth. That's a lovely noise. <laughs> it knows fucking magic missile. It's a level 3 wizard. <laughs> Hit it with a tackle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright. I'm liking these tackles. I think this is the move to go with. I'm trying to work out. It says it. it I'm assuming that the little fifty near the near the skill's name is is the cost. Yeah, mana cost is at the bottom. Mana fifty. I don't know how much mana I have. I think that's my purple bar, but it doesn't seem to have gone down very much. It seems like I have. Oh wait, hang on. That used like all my mana. Do I regen it every turn? If so, what is the point? <laughs> I don't know. We'll work it out. I got a blob egg and a small potion. And eight experience. Fuck yeah. There we go. You received a blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Oh, we're just going to fucking crack it open, are we? Just going to tap it on the side of the mixing bowl and, you know, wrench it. That's, that's how you hatch things. <laughs> it's just a cracking noise. Oh, I've got an achievement. New best friend. I guess I guess Blob is my new best friend. Um, this is, I suppose, Grimer? I suppose it's Grimer. I can't think of a, a better uh, parallel. Is there, a, is there a Blob Pokemon? I don't know. There probably is. I can't think of it now, though. Probably one of them new Pokemon. Whereas I, being the boomer that I am, um, only really care about the original 151. Anything else is, is shit and awful. <laughs> I can equip it with stuff. It has a wooden stick at the moment. They both have wooden sticks. Cool. This is your first monster hatched by yourself. Right now it's weak, so you need to train it. There is so much more for you to learn too. You and that blob are quite alike. Let's continue on the Keeper's Trail. It will lead us to Old Burren, an old friend of old mine. He is an old patient teacher to all old young keepers who seek old guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Can I, like... Can I make you my bro? Switch. No, he doesn't. He doesn't follow me just because he's okay. I guess Spectral Toad is special, so he always follows me. The rest don't do that so much. That's fine. 
I don't like the blob anyway. Oh! Why can I do that? <laughs> That's Tackle. I know Tackle, I used it loads in the last fight. Doesn't do anything. I can start combat though. Oh, so we got two blobs, eh? I'm gonna send in Grimer and Spectral Toad. Oh, he can heal! That's neat. I mean, he's not gonna, because everyone's on full health, so there's not much point, but he can, and that's the important thing. Know your capabilities. Oh no! Of course, they can heal too! They are equally powerful. That just did attack. How do you attack? Is there an option to just... I mean, I'm not gonna, because it seemed a bit shit, but... Is there an option to not use an ability and save your mana? I, I don't know. I'm struggling with the whole concept of mana, because it seems like you just get it all back. Or at least the vast majority of it. Like, maybe it's a more of a thing at higher levels. I don't know. When you get big expensive spells that cost more mana than you regen. I mean, Tackle technically costs slightly more mana than I regen, but, you know, not enough to really worry about. It would take a lot of turns for me to go completely out of mana. Uh, oh! I just heal. Oh no, I have to pick a target. Okay. It, it, it looked like it was hitting both of them when I was hovering it. I'll do a heal there. <laughs> 69. Nice. It only healed for 19. What a loser. Imagine not healing for 69. Imagine not getting the funny sex number. Why even live at that point? We did it. We did it, green guys. My very green party is doing great for themselves. I just got a vital ring. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, I'll give you a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Okay, so if we play well, I get better loot. What determines well, I wonder? Oh, what the fuck? They've got skill trees. This is already better than Pokemon. <laughs> I fucking love a skill tree, and... They all have skill trees. Look at all these skill trees. I'm assuming they're like generic trees, like they get four set trees. No, because I mean, this has bubble burst in it, which this also has, but they're clearly different trees. Huh. This game's neat. I like this game. <laughs> I think me and this game are going to get on real well. Uh, I feel, feel like I picked up, yeah, Vital Ring, plus 150 health. I mean, Grime is our healer at the moment, so he can have the Vital Ring. Gotta keep that healer alive, you know. Right, platforming. Does Pokemon have platforming? Seriously, does it? I can't remember. Young Keeper. Tis the Keeper's trail beginning for all of man, beast and sanctuary has beginning. Did I just have a stroke? What? <laughs> what do... <laughs> Young Keeper, it is the Keeper's Trail beginning. Okay, so this is the Keeper's Trail that, that we're at the start of. For all of Man, Beast and Sanctuary... Oh, for all of Man, Beast and Sanctuary has a beginning. Right, I, okay, I get it. It does make sense, sort of, but it's worded in old, wordy, weird, poetic English that is really hard to actually read. <laughs> oh, you've got a little fucking maggot thing, and... I, I'm pretty certain I fought that other thing in Omori. <laughs> like, a lot. <laughs> I don't know what this does. It's clearly not something I can use on enemies, but it's pretty neat nonetheless. Oh, a magma pill is a fire type. That's pretty exciting. Let's fuck that, that bad boy up. I think it'll evolve into like a fire butterfly because that sounds pretty fucking cool. 
There's one of them in Pokemon, and it's it's genuinely a really cool design. I'm a big fan of it. Holy shit. Big damage and burn. Need to finish that bad boy off before he absolutely ends me. Uh, yeah, it seems like Tackle's the best option against this guy. I didn't check what type he was, but obviously it's not one that I can fuck up particularly easily. I, sh I should heal. I should heal. This fight's actually difficult. He's weak to fire. Okay, so he's, he's like a grass type. A nature type. Lame. Tackle. Tackle every turn. All other moves are worthless to me. Nice, three stars. Let me go. I got a potato for that. I didn't get either of their eggs though, which is very disappointing. Skill point! As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Believe me, I already did and I fucking love it. It made me very happy. So, what can we invest into? When this monster gets attacked, 40% chance to apply poison to the attacker. Very nice. We can upgrade our mud cannon. Um, we can increase magic rating by one. See? Let me, uh, is there a... Oh, we can see their stats right there. We've got like, and uh, well, I'm assuming like sword, the sword symbol is your attack stat, the staff symbol is your magic stat, and the shield symbol is your defense stat, right? Heart is obviously HP. I don't know what the bottom one is, probably mana. But how do I know whether a, a skill uses magic or attack? Does it tell me anywhere? I mean, you'd. I mean, I can. I can sort of hazard a guess that tackle probably takes physical, and the other two are, are magic, right? But there doesn't seem to be any clear explanation as to what's what. So I'm not sure how helpful improving my magic will be. Uh, that is also the same. Oh no, that increases my mana, not my magic. Sorry. Uh, upgrade my bubble burst. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 50% of max mana. Interesting. When an ally will be attacked, 25% chance to redirect the attack to. Okay, so we can turn him into like a. Oh, we can get torn, and then we can get poison glands. Oh, there's like some, some cool builds available here. We can upgrade Tackle, which seems like a, a good choice, honestly, and Toxin, every hit has a 10% chance to apply poison. All very nice, but I'm, I'm actually intrigued about this. I might, I might build Spectral Toad here into a tank. I think that sounds fun. There's also this tree over here. Oh, we can give him heal. <laughs> That's neat. Oh, and there's more tanky stuff over here as well. Applies barrier to whole party. I feel like I don't need him to have heal because we already have a healer, but at the same time I don't know if I'm going to be keeping Grimer as a permanent party member or not, so... Yeah, for now. I'm gonna lean into my original plan. Tank Toad. Tank Toad. Oh, it does like the fucking... Uh... I just I haven't really paid attention to the mini map up until now. It's like the uh, uh, Metroid style maps where you, where it's like squares that you explore. That's fun. Cestus, neat. You can have that toad. Yeah. 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 Increase them numbers. I love it when numbers go up. It makes me happy. It gives me a nice dopamine hit. Hello. Hey, fellow Keeper, did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might encounter some destructible walls, like the one behind me. Go on and try and hit it with some of your monster's abilities. We learned. We learned what it's for. Hey, another vital ring. Um, You know what? Since you're the tank. 
I was, I was originally thinking I might just stack them on slime, but... Nah, this is the better option, obviously. Hey, friend, you're just starting out as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment on your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. I have done. Fuck you, I'm one step ahead. Ooh. Kunai. Okay, so it gives less defense but mana regen. We'll give that to this fella. It's all coming together, I love it. I don't think I can make that jump. Fucking Bulbasaur clearly can. He's falling short intentionally to follow me. He could definitely make that jump with his powerful, powerful legs. But yeah, I don't think I can make that. I think that's that's a, an issue for later. It annoys me that there isn't any indication on the map as to stuff um, stuff I've missed. I think a really cool thing that a lot of games do is is change the colour of uh, of rooms on the map once you've uh, looted them or whatever. I think uh, that would be a cool thing to implement in this game. Just a heads up to... It said Team 17 at the start. I don't think this is actually made by Team 17, right? It's published by them. I, I, I don't know who the developer is, I'm sorry. But whoever you are, take note. Listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. I've played many video games, therefore I am the authority on them. <laughs> Oh, I've got a bird. I quite like a bird. A bird would be cool. We'll kick some bird ass for a bit. Oh. It buffed me. Well, it buffed itself, I should say, and then hurt me. That's what happened. I feel a lot more powerful now that I've equipped those weapons. Like, I, I, don't get me wrong, I was steamrolling the fights before as well, because obviously, like, this is early game, that they're meant to be weaker compared to us, but especially now that I've got these weapons, it feels like an absolute stomp. They got nothing. Now how I'm meant to 5 star this, I really don't. Oh, Pharaoh Egg, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I got him. I was just saying I wanted one, and I did. They gave me one. Thanks, game. I got my very own Spearow. It's definitely not a Pidgey. Pidgey was my first thought too, I know, but... It's too pointy to be a Pidgey, it's more of a Spearow. Pidgeys are a bit rounder, you know what I mean? Oh shit, skill points already. He was born with skill points. Okay, what can you get? Acid Rain. Applies Armor Break. Seems neat. Maybe we can get Bubble Burst, but that's a bit boring and lame. Uh, get some more mana, don't really need that right now. Buff Arcane Bolt. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 35% of magic value. Sounds very nice. Get more magic. Buff the heal, don't really need to do that yet. Healing actions trigger an additional heal on the monster with the lowest health equal to... Oh! A double heal? That's neat. Slime shot does poison. Buff defense. Yeah, there's some nice stuff, but I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna get this for now. And then Spearow. Uh, beating. <laughs> beating level 2. Not that worried about stats at the moment, although attack up is probably pretty nice. I just really wish I knew which attacks which attacks used attack and which ones used magic. It, it really just isn't clear at all. Could really do a clarifying. Oh wait, hang on, that says it does physical damage. Oh, they, oh it just says on it. Magical damage. <laughs> I, I didn't read the words. I was looking for like a symbol or something. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. That's on me completely. Yeah, okay. So that does physical damage. That does physical damage. That does physical damage. 
Okay, so we can... It seems weird that there's just like a bunch of very similar abilities available to this guy. He's definitely a physical attacker though, so I think we're just going to go ahead and get the attack plus. Because that's going to benefit him no matter what happens, right? Cool. Right guys, let's go. Let us progress. Across the wibbly wobbly rickety bridge. Man proposed through generations, founded... Nope. Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. Wow, it's like a history of the world. How come you never see that in real life? How come you never just walking around in real life and some dudes just like carved the history of mankind into a rock? Where's my real life lore? I'd leave the house more if that was a thing. Um, I got equipment, but I, I forgot where the equipment menu was. Uh, adds defense, mana regen, damage reduction. Eh, yeah, you can have it. You probably need it at the moment. Looking a bit... For oh, what was that? One-eyed scorpion cat. It did a fucking uh, hornet from Hollow Knight on me. It watched me and then ran away when I got too close. Hornet from Hollow Knight is the only character in the history of fantasy to ever do that. Quote me on that. <laughs> I'm fine with being wrong on the internet, I don't care. <laughs> Finding a lot of equipment at the moment. Let's just really kit out this bird. I like the bird, it's cool. It's just a bird, like there's li literally nothing fantastical or special about it, it's just a fucking bird, but I like it. Right is the keeper's stronghold, left is the keeper's trail. Well, we're just on the Keeper's Trail, but I guess this is part of it we've not been on. Double bird. Triple bird. Wow. Serious shit. I think if I really tried, I could probably avoid these fights. I don't know why I'd want to, though. I'm here to, to fuck up the birds. That's, that's the point of it. That's the point of the video game, is to do the fights. Not a spectacular ability, is it? Is that? No, it doesn't AoE. I always think abilities are AoE because it looks like it's hitting all of them in the in the health bars, but I'm just flagrantly incorrect. <laughs> oh look, his ability's kicking in. Neat. He's being the tank I believed he could always be. I'm just deleting the mom bird at a time. This guy's got balls though. I'll give that to him. Just watch both of his friends be be returned to the ether and he, he cares not. He's gonna continue fighting. Look at that four-star strategy of attacking things repeatedly. Red gem. It's a level one rare upgrade material. I don't know what that means. I'm sure I'll find out eventually, though. Nope, not going to get tutorialized now. I guess it's a thing for later. Let's just not worry about it. Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond, yet for the treasures within he longed, for the greed of kings was great. Are you saying the scary shit beyond here, but if I want to go get fat loot, I can... I'm welcome to give it a go. It's just one of these. These aren't scary. I'll fight these all day. All day I'll fight these. All day and all night. I mean, they, they, do, they do do burn. Burn was pretty scary, honestly. I'm wondering if I can kill that from its current health with a water move. I'm willing to gamble on it. No, I cannot. Cool. One of them crit and it got closer than expected, but... Oh, they're turtling.
So, one thing I'm noticing about this game... The character art, fucking gorgeous. The environment art... I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, it's far from bad. But... It's just very underwhelming, you know? The backgrounds are quite nice, but like the actual like areas is... Thus far, I mean obviously this is still very early days, it is just a lot of, like, the same tile set, you know what I mean? Here's a field, here's a cliff, you know? I think it could benefit from just a few more features. You know, even though it's just like a tree, or a tree stump, or a, a selection of cool rocks or something. Just to, just to mix things up a bit so we're just not looking at the same thing all the time. I'm, I'm literally nitpicking here because this game seems really fucking cool and I just want to find something to sort of... to cast a critical eye on, you know what I mean? To feel like I'm, I'm providing some sort of service. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at your skills. Uh, I wanted to get this one. Fuck yeah. Cool. Uh, we also got some equipment, I believe. Was it a weapon? Oh. Oh. I mean, yeah, you only have the cast Arcane Bolt, which is definitely a, a magic spell, so might as well have that. And you can have... Yeah, you can have the Morning Star. The Kunai can go to waste. We don't need it. Why is that one different? Oh, that, that's mine. <laughs> What, what, what? Is it because it's his turn? I haven't noticed there was like a, a glowing border around my slime before. Is it just to indicate whose turn it is? I honestly... I honestly don't know. Yeah, it is. Wow, I'm, I'm really unobservant. Too caught up in criticising the environment art to, <laughs> to pay attention to the fucking UI cues I'm being given. I do really like these monster designs though. I mean even the slime, they've given some personality with the little the little cat face, you know. They've they've mixed it up a bit. It would be very easy to, to just make the slime look like every other slime, and obviously it does more or less, but just in changing the face, they've made it a little bit more a little bit more unique, you know. Yeah, you're poisoned now, bitch. That didn't poison, though. Is it only physical attacks that proc it? Huh. I honestly don't know. I am honestly unsure. Curious to see how much the poison does, though, so I'm not attacking the, the other slime yet. Eh, it's summit. It's not a lot. It's something, though. I will absolutely take it. Considering I'm getting it free from an ability, I'm not actually having to, to use it. That's the thing with status effects in, in RPGs, they're often like... They either make them broken, or they make them useless, and there's no in-between. There's no way to balance them very easily. Most of the time you're better off just attacking than using a status effect in most RPGs, you know. So it's nice to have them just be like a passive thing that can happen. Right, um... Do we just get him some more magic? I'm curious what I need to get to the third tier. Do I just need to buy this and then I can just go down again? Or is it like I have to spend a certain amount of points in this tier? Or is it just that I need to be level 10? I clearly need to be level 10, but I don't know exactly how it all works. Let's just get this. And you can get a new ability, I think. I'm liking the look of Featherstorm. It is actually less damage than Air Sickle, though. And it costs more mana. Inexplicably. Does it get, like... Does it get better? That's 220%. That's 2 Yeah, it's still just weaker and costs more mana. 
I don't really see the advantage to Featherstorm. So nice stats and stuff here. Ooh, increases critical chance of the whole party by 4%. Nice. But I think I, I'll just take the stronger move, though. The stronger, cheaper move. It, it seems like the obvious choice here. Man plunged into the deepest abyss, foraged, attack, and slew. These endeavours were without solace. The cost of humanity, nobody knew. I really feel like I was meant to have gone to the town or whatever way back when I had that split in the path. I feel like I made a mistake coming this way. There's a little cat with a sword over there. <laughs> but I need a special vine cutting technique to get through it. Dang. It's not like the fights in this direction are too difficult for me, so it doesn't feel like I'm being sort of herded back in the other direction at all. Let's try out my air sickle. Pretty cool. I really like the, the, the feather thing though, it, it, it seemed like it would look cool. But it's hard not to pick the cheaper, stronger move, you know? seemed very odd that, that that was an option, you know what I mean? Like if it had anything, like if it had a higher crit chance, or if it was considerably weaker but hit multiple targets or something, you know, I, I could see the, the reason why they would both exist, but there's just two moves and one is worse than the other. <laughs> just objectively. Unless it's another thing that I just failed to read, like there was more information on it that I was just completely missing. I've been pretty good at just completely missing the the point a lot in this game so far, so... You stop setting me on fire. It seems a bit unnecessary, honestly. Oh, mana ring. Cool. Well, equip that bad boy. Um, on the healer, I think. I'm wondering if this is gonna wrap back round. Mm, maybe not. I thought maybe the the cat creature. Oh, there is a cat creature. Might give me the ability to to uh, cut the vines down because it has a sword. Only one way to find out, I suppose. I'm also still wondering if there is a way of uh, swapping my party around so that a different one can be in the lead and they'll have a different overworld ability, but I, I couldn't work out how to do it, so I just sort of gave up on the concept. Wondering what type that cat is, the fact that it's weak to nature. It doesn't look like a water type. I haven't really had a, a tutorial on typings yet. Oh, it, is it air? It just used an air ability. Cat Zerker, it's called. Nice. It's not it's not like even a pun. Cat and burr sound nothing at all alike. But I'm still all about it. I'm totally down with it. No. Always tackle. Always tackle. Makes a change from tackle being like the worst move in the game in the in, in I was gonna say the original Pokemon there. Pokemon, some people call it. <laughs> Actual real Pokemon. It is it is such a shame though. It really is such a shame to uh to play games like this and like Temtem that have taken the, the Pokemon um concept and like built on it. Considering Pokemon themselves have had 
like 25 years to build on the Pokemon concept and just haven't at all. And I'm, I'm a Pokemon defender, I like Pokemon. I enjoy it still. Like I was playing Pokemon Sun and Moon not so long ago, I picked it up again, did another playthrough, checked out the DLC, it was a fun time. But like, it's just a shame to see like how much better it could be, you know what I mean? Got another blob egg. I don't need another blob egg. I might just not hatch it and see if I can sell it or something. Uh, that's that's where I want it to be. I did it. I got a cat zerker. Um, I mean, I guess Meowth, the bipedal cat. I feel like there probably is a cat with a sword in Pokemon somewhere. <laughs> but I, I'm damned if I can remember what. I'm not hatching that. You can't make me. Ooh, it's level 3 and has 2 skill points. Nice. Um, Do we swap it in then? Let's have a look at its skills, shall we? Can we see its typing at all? Does it have a type, or is it just like, it has weaknesses and strengths? Am I thinking... Am I, am I too Pokemon-centric here? Yeah, I don't think... I don't think they have types. I don't think that's how this works. I think they just... Each individual species has its own strengths and weaknesses. That's interesting. Huh. Alright. Yeah, skills. Uh, claws. Why would you use claws when you have a sword? That's dumb. Not not gonna not gonna bother. <laughs> Slash. Critical hits apply bleed. Hmm. First hit of an ability has a twenty percent increased crit chance. Nice. We can give him air sickle, but I I already have an air sickle friend. Fire claws. Life steal. Regen buff. I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. He's got some cool shit going down. I want to. I want to make him a life stealer. So we're going to get fire claws. Plus, it gives us a fire ability, right? So that's nice. I don't know. I mean, I can clearly have a six-party team here. Do I use all six? Do you think? For some reason, I was assuming I can only use three, but I don't actually know. I haven't actually gone into combat with this team before. But then came the four, free from greed or any other sin, who listened to the voice within, struck a wound to the realm's core. The four as in the four big houses with their spirit guardians or whatever. Is that who the four are? Smoke bomb. Hm. Don't know what that's for. Let's go this way. It's weird how- whoa, fuck. It's like a ripped walrus man. Cool, let's fight it. Yowie. Yeah, okay, I can only use three. I don't know why I knew that. I don't know why I predicted that. Um, I haven't actually equipped Meowth at all, so I don't know if the, with this new harder fight, I'm better off keeping the current team. Oh, they are weak to fire, though. Yeah, fuck it. Tag him in. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how I do it. It's neat how that works, actually. It doesn't just use automatically use the front three in your team. You pick who to send out based on what you're fighting. So you you can have your type coverage and then mix and match as you run into encounters. I like that. Oh fuck, that does no damage. Should we do a might buff? Yeah, let's do a might buff. Let's take this seriously. Oh, my cannon's actually good against this. I thought that, I thought that was... It's an earth ability. I, I thought that was like a nature or grass or 
plant ability or whatever that he was weak to, but I guess earth and, and that are the same. Um, I still want to kind of just finish this thing off as quickly as possible though, so. Oh, they regenerate. Nasty. Nasty shit right there. And they have a fucking bird to buff them. Oh shit. Okay, that wasn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. those squelchy noises we know and love. Yeah, those, those yetis aren't as terrifying as I thought they were. I stand corrected. My mighty sword cat is fucking them right up. Uh, uh. Everything's resisting air sickle and it, it makes me very sad. Shit, I can't afford an ability. Mana is finally doing its thing. Guess I'll just slash him. Good big number I got there. I like a big number. Hooray, did it. Oh. You got us a Yowie. Oh, and everyone gains experience even when they're not in combat. That's also very nice. What are these skill points we have to spend? Come on, Yowie. Uh, it's 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 clearly an Obama snow. But what's the little one called? I've been calling them all after first stages. What's the baby Obama Obama snow called? I really cannot remember at all. Fuck. Where's my phone? I need to Google this. This is important. This is essential. Not only do I need to Google this, I need to keep it in the recording as well. <laughs> A bomber snow, there he is. I found him. It evolves from... It evolves from... Come on, Bulbapedia. Be helpful. Snova. It's called Snova. Snova. That's a stupid name. A bomber snow is much cooler. Oh. Completely misclicked that, didn't I? Right. Cool. Uh, just uh, invest some points into some shit, shall we? Um, we'll actually teach this fella slime shot. I think. It seems like that might come in handy at some point. You are gonna just get gooder. Yeah, let's have that. You are going to learn to heal, because I want someone else who can do that. You are gonna get live steal. You have two points to spend. Oh, there's another taunter. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 5% of max health. Weird. We've got some cool water things over here. Okay, so he's got the uh, the freeze version. He's the freeze tank as opposed to the poison tank. So anything cool over here? Heal all monsters in the party by four percent of this monster's max health at the start of every turn. Fuck yeah, let's, let's build towards that. In fact, we don't need to build towards it. We can just get it. There we go. Done. Fucking sweet. We got anything we can equip these two new guys with? You can have the kunai. And that's it. I honestly don't care about Snowva too much. He's a bit he's a bit scary. He's a bit too powerful for me. I'm not sure I can a little bit intimidated by his physique, to be honest. I feel like he could he's the sort of guy you might beat me up in a pub for looking at his girlfriend or something, you know what I mean? I I'm I'm not comfortable around him. 
But uh, what I am comfortable around is ending this video and continuing this next time on Joe Plays uh, whatever the fuck this game's called. Monster Sanctuary, that's the one. This is cool. More of this soon.